why, why is there this discussion going on internationally um, about pricing carbon? Um, obviously, pricing carbon internalizes an externality. It is the cleanest way for a market to judge carbon exposure, the tangible um, implications of carbon exposure. I mean, it's an obvious point, but I'll make it, which is actually making obvious points is a central banker's specialty, but so I'll make another <laughs> obvious point. But, uh, and, uh, but made in a very serious way. I mean, I'm not, uh, whatever degrees um, uh, you know, uh, we end up at stabilizing, you know, at, at emissions have to, you know, emissions have to be capped, right? They have to stabilize at some point, whether it's at two, two and a half, three, uh, four degrees. Um, and so the pricing of carbon has to, the effective price, whether it's done through absolute regulation or it's uh, uh, through a cap and trade system or, or a fiat price, has to accrete to a level that results in that. And from a market perspective, some would take a variety of regulation and other measures and, and um, map them into a synthetic price to determine the impact. It's easier if there is just a price, obviously. Now, I'm not making the judgment because there are, there are uh, you know, between regulation, uh, between uh, quotas, uh, between uh, and prices, um, technology funds. There, there, you need a variety. Of, you know far better than I. You need a variety of mechanisms to yeah. uh, address this uh, uh, address this risk.